Hello my friends, this is Mike again with another short video. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about connecting the basic components of the water maker. We're going to start with a, uh, a boost pump or otherwise known as primer, priming pump. Uh, the priming pump uh, will, uh, it's a self priming pump, it is not a centrifugal pump. Uh, we choose to use a, a diaphragm pump because they self prime. The centrifugal ones, sometimes they will cavitate and uh, then they will stop pushing water uh, and then it's, it could cause damage to the high pressure pump. These we found to be more consistent with supplying water to the high pressure pump which is absolutely critical. And uh, here we have a fully assembled system. This is where you would connect the uh, salt water input from some other strainer. Uh, you could splice into an existing uh, strainer if you have like maybe your air conditioner or your toilet. As long as you supply uh, salt water, make sure you're away from the sink. You don't want anything, anybody using the sink, flushing down the vegetable oil and then sucking it back into our water maker. It is not gonna be a good day. So we start with a strainer. Then it goes into the priming pump. This priming pump is advertised that it will self-prime for six to eight feet high. I don't know about eight feet, but I've seen it do at three feet with not a problem. Uh, what this is here, this is a small bypass uh, where after everything is up and running, we're gonna start with this fully closed in the clockwise position. Uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna run the system and everything is, everything after everything is up and running and we're, man, we're making water, we're gonna come here and we're gonna turn this counterclockwise, we're gonna lower the pressure. Uh, the pressure gauge is either mounted, if you have a control panel, it's on the control panel. If, it, if you don't have a control panel, then the, the pressure gauge mounted right here. And we wanna take the pressure down to about 10 PSI. We don't need more than 10 PSI, so there is no need to be pushing the pump for something we don't really need. So after that, let's talk about the next connection. The connection goes from the priming pump to the number five. Number five is a check valve. This check valve is a one-way valve. Uh, when we are sending seawater down this path, we want it to come to this T, and we don't want it to go back into the carbon filter. We want it to go through the 20 micron, through the five micron, and then from here, we're going to connect this number nine to the high pressure pump with another blue hose like this. And this will conclude the prime pump and the filtration and how to connect these two together. Thank you for watching.